Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hoxness here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, today's video is actually going to be kickstarting a brand new series that I'm starting, and that is a pro movement guide. So, as I said, this is going to be episode one of that series, and in this video, we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, the most important aspect of movement, and that is going to be strafing. And this video actually has bonus content as well. This video will also be episode four of my best attachment series, where basically I just go over all of the attachments and exactly what they do in COD Mobile. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the stock attachment as well as the Skulker perk, because I know a lot of people are always confused what the differences are between those two and what they actually do. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about exactly what they're going to do for you as well as what they don't do. So this video is actually going to be structured into three different parts. Part one is basically a quick explanation of strafing the stock attachment and the skulker a uh, perk then the second part is going to be going over the stock attachment and the skulker perk talking about exactly what they do down to like the actual stats of the uh, two items the, the attachment and the perk and then the third part of the video will basically be a guide on strafing and then me explaining a little bit more in depth how to do it uh, how you should be doing it whether or not you should be doing it just a lot of stuff basically in relation to uh, tips and tricks for actually strafing so if you guys want to jump to a specific part of the video, although I do recommend watching the entire thing, I will put the timestamps on the screen right now. It should be probably, I think over here, maybe. I don't know. F Future Hawksness will know where it is. It's, I think it's over here. But anyway, before we actually get into the video, make sure to drop a like and a sub on this video. If you guys do enjoy this video, it has been a long time coming. I've been testing all the stats that actually come up in this video for a very long time. And we're actually trying to go for 500k subscribers. We're in a little competition with a bunch of other YouTubers. So if you guys want to support my channel and get a lot of informative content inside of your notifications and sub box related to COD Mobile, I highly recommend subscribing. I also do other fun content as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and actually get into the video. So what is strafing? Strafing is essentially moving side to side, but to be more specific, it's moving side to side while you're shooting your gun. Now, it's super important and actually will win you a lot more gunfights because when you move side to side, your enemy can't predict where you're going or what you're doing, but you can predict what you're doing yourself. So when you're actually strafing, you know what you're going to do because you can predict that. You know you're going to go left, you know you're going to go right, you know what you're going to do, but the enemy player has to try to predict what you're doing. So if you're able to strafe side to side very fast, the enemy constantly has to change their aim and it's very disorienting and it makes it very difficult for them to actually hit their shots. Now, strafing isn't the easiest mechanic to do. It's not really as simple as just moving while you shoot. Another mechanic of it is actually um, aiming properly while you do it because it is a little bit harder for you to aim when you're actually strafing because instead of standing still and like aiming and shooting and all that, now you have to try to like move where your aim is as you're moving around because obviously if you move your body, your aim is going to move with it. So you have to try to compensate as you move. Now, again, this isn't that difficult to do because you know what you're going to do. If you know you're going to go left, then just move your aim right. And if you know you're going to go to the right, just move your aim left. But again, the enemy will have no idea what movements you're going to make. Again, we'll actually get into strafing a little bit more and how to actually do it in the third part of the video. But hopefully now you guys at least understand what strafing is and why it's important. So now that we know what strafing is and why it's important, let's go ahead and talk about how you can basically strafe faster because the faster you can strafe, the harder it is for you to actually hit. Now, essentially every single gun in the game has a specific speed that you can move at while you're actually ADS. So as your gun is scoped in, there's a specific speed that you'll actually move at side to side or forward and back. And because there's a lot of guns in the game, we're not gonna go through every single gun's strafe speed. What we're gonna be doing is talking about the SMG's strafe speed in general, like the average. Again, the guns will be different, but the main average will, is what we'll be talking about. And then the average of the ARs, and then the average of the LMGs, and then the average of the snipers, because these are the weapons you're typically gonna be strafing with. You can strafe with the shotgun, but most of the time you won't be ADS with the shotgun because inside of COD Mobile, you don't actually have to scope with the shotgun. You can just hit fire very well. And again, you can strafe while you're actually hit firing, which you should be doing most of the time. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about right now because the stock actually doesn't affect uh, your hit fire movement speed. It will only affect your ADS movement speed. Okay, so in terms of the SMGs, in fact, every single SMG has a strafe speed of 3.65 meters per second. Now, the ARs actually vary quite a bit depending on what one you're using but the average um, strafe speed is going to be 1.9 meters per second. The snipers have a speed of 2.14 meters per second. And then the UL736 is actually an odd one out from the other LMGs, but it has a uh, strafe speed of 1.92. And then the rest of the LMGs have a strafe speed of 1.66 uh, meters per second. So as you can tell, one of the built-in features of SMGs is you're going to be able to strafe a lot faster. This is why a lot of people like the RUS and the PDW over a lot of ARs. Even though the ARs pack a little bit more punch, typically the SMGs have really nice strafing and pros really like that because they like to be 
able to be mobile and jump around and just move side to side and strafe as much as they can and just have really good mobility and in future episodes of this movement guide i'll talk about jump shotting drop shotting all of that stuff but right now we're talking about strafing and as i said smgs do strafe quite a bit faster than ars if you do want to see the specific strafe speeds of every single weapon you can go to my website hawksense.gg and then if you go to the cod mobile section and then the guns and then the mobility section you can see the strafe speeds there just so you can see a specific gun if you'd like to but again those were the averages uh for the different classes so now let's go ahead and talk about what skulker and what stock will do now essentially what stock is is stock will increase this meters per second speed so how fast you're going to be moving it'll increase it by a certain amount we'll talk about that certain amount very soon now skulker is a little bit different skulker affects your walking speed so not just when you're ads but anytime you're walking it will increase your speed and it increases it by 12 percent but fortunately for you, when you're actually ADS, you will be walking technically. So you will have your speed increased by 12%. And another thing to keep in mind with Skulker versus Stock is Skulker will also affect your hip fire. So when you're actually fighting someone or hip firing them and you want to strafe side to side, Skulker will actually help you strafe a little bit faster because you're not ADS. And as I said, Skulker will always change your speed as long as you're walking. Whereas with the Stock, since you're not ADSing, the Stock won't actually kick in and you're not going to get that bonus movement speed. So that is is the essential difference between the two now let's go ahead and break down the stock a little bit more because as i said skulker is really simple it's just plus 12 percent but now let's go ahead and break down the stock attachment a bit more so the stock attachment will actually boost your speed by a certain amount depending on the class for the most part there is a couple odd guns though and we're going to talk about that so with almost every single ar you're going to get an increase of 0.54 meters per second except for the ASM 10 and that is a increase of 0.37 so it's a lot smaller of an increase now I think they did this because the mobility on the ASM 10 is already really really bad so if it had a if it got plus 54 then it would be a big jump you know what I mean so because it's a lower one they made it have a smaller effect because again if it was a 0.54 increase that'd be really crazy and basically everyone would use the stock on the ASM 10 so it gets a gain of 0.37 meters per second but that mobility increase of the SM10 of 0.37 is actually the standard for the SMGs. All SMGs will get an increase of 0.37 meters per second. So the stock on the ASM10 is essentially like an SMG stock. And with the LMGs, you're going to get an average uh, meters per second increase of 0.39. And with the snipers, you're actually going to get a strafe speed increase of 0.51. Now, what this means is if you combine Skulker and Stock together, you can actually get the most strafe speed possible. And if you're wondering what the increase is, with ARs, the average increase is right about 42%. So you'll be able to strafe 42% faster. Uh, with SMGs, the average increase is 24%. With LMGs, the average increase is 45%. And with Snipers, the average increase is 47%. So that is essentially the difference in actual stats on the stock and skulker perk or stock attachment skulker perk. If you guys want to get more details on that, once again, my website will have the actual speeds per gun. If you guys want to compare the speeds and everything uh, more specifically, you can do that very easily on my website. So now let's go ahead and get into some tips with strafing and information you guys should know. In terms of your controls and layout, there is one very important aspect to actually being able to strafe properly, and that is that you need one finger or thumb that is solely dedicated to your joystick. The reason that I say this is because to actually strafe and shoot at the same time, which is what you want to be doing, you need to have that dedicated finger or thumb to be on the joystick so that you can actually move side to side while you shoot. If that finger is pressing the shoot button, obviously you can't have one finger in two places, so you won't be able to move side to side as you shoot. If you do play thumbs inside of Call of Duty Mobile, the way to do this is you'll have your left thumb more than likely uh, with your joystick, and then your right thumb will actually have the ADS feature where essentially when you press the fire button, your gun will automatically scope in and you can aim at people by dragging your finger around. I'll probably show a hand cam right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this is how you're able to strafe and shoot at the same time if you are actually playing with two thumbs. The downside of playing with two thumbs and doing this though is that you won't really be able to hit fire very often. So uh, just know that is one issue. If you do play three or four fingers, more than likely you already know you can strafe because you'll have that third finger as a, a, a finger to press the shoot button and stuff. So your left thumb or whatever your, your finger is for your joystick will be freed up. And the benefit of actually doing three or four fingers now is you can actually hit fire too, which is uh, really nice as well. So in terms of controls or whatever, that is really all you need for strafing. The rest of it is just building up muscle memory and actually doing it. So when you, if you do 
want to build up your strafing skills um number one is you typically don't want to strafe one way and stay going that way so if you're in a gunfight don't strafe to the left and just hold your finger to the left don't constantly do that because your goal with strafing is to be unpredictable and if you're going one way and sticking that way you're the enemy can really easily aim at you you know what i mean if there's a guy right here and he's just going this way it's super easy for me to track and he's just you know doing that but it's a lot harder to track someone if they're going side to side to side. So when you're actually playing, typically what you want to do to strafe is drag your finger back and forth like this. So you'll just kind of make the same action of back and forth, back and forth. Now, obviously that's predictable because back and forth is, you know, kind of predictable, but most of the time people won't really know that, you know what I mean? Strafing, they're not going to think, oh, he's going back and back and forth because a gunfight is super quick. And within that time, they've already missed all the shots and you've hit your shots and won that gunfight. So obviously if you start facing players that are really good, you can start to mix in a little bit of maybe I go left for a while and then I switch to the right and go back. You can be as like a little bit more unpredictable, but a very easy way to just immediately get strafing well is just to do that action of back and forth back and forth back and forth and then you just aim as you shoot and it is as simple as that it really just comes down to you mentally thinking to yourself okay i need to strafe in this gunfight just constantly remind yourself i'm trying to practice strafing and you'll just build up that muscle memory the more and more you do it and your thumb or whatever your finger is for the joystick will just get more and more used to actually going side to side and strafing in terms of the attachments and all that, the only things that will affect your strafing speed, lightweight doesn't, by the way, lightweight just affects your running speed. Uh, but anyway, as I said, the stock attachment and the skulker perk will actually increase your strafing speed. Now, obviously, strafing too fast is, is not good. You don't want to be strafing too fast unless you're super, super good at controlling aim. Uh, but right now, if you're just not learning how to strafe, I don't really recommend um, using the skulker perk or the stock attachment on SMGs because they already strafe fast enough. But if you are learning this and you want to get better at strafing using the stock or skulker or both on ARs is actually quite beneficial because then it'll feel kind of like you're actually using an SMG when you strafe, which will be really nice. But again, as I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of pros love like the RUS. Um, the PDW is a little bit, it's not as loved, uh, but the RUS is really popular because people are, they love to strafe with it and then it also has a good damage output now i mean we're not talking about the rus right now but an rus is a gun that a lot of people love to use and strafe with just because again it's uh super versatile and it has super good strafing speed uh so it's kind of like an ar with boosted strafing but if you don't want to give up your ars skulker and stock or both once again is a good option um now the skulker perk is a red perk so the other good red perks are going to be flak jacket um agile isn't that good anymore it got nerfed recently and then lightweight is another good one as well. So right now I'd say the three most popular perks are probably gonna be Skulker, Lightweight, and Flak Jacket. Now I recommend Flak Jacket for like one or two classes that you'd use for a hard point or uh, domination. And lightweight is kind of up to you. I always like to have one class with lightweight if I just wanna have a really speedy class, uh, but you can definitely build up an AR with Skulker and Stock and use that as kind of like your mid range and close range like strafing type class. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but um, the, the range that you want to be strafing most typically is right around like 10 to like mid range. Just understand mid range is typically where strafing is really good. At super long ranges, you kind of want to have the best aim that you can. So strafing might not be the best. Uh, if you're facing a sniper though, 100%, you never want to stand still against. If you see someone really far away with the sniper, either don't take that fight or strafe like crazy to make sure they can't one tap you. So I'm not going to necessarily talk about this too much inside of this video because it will be for a future video when I talk about jumping. But when you are actually strafing, you can mix in some jumps to actually do it a little bit faster. If you guys are curious how much faster, here's like a little side by side of strafing versus strafing with a jump. But just keep in mind that jumping actually has a cooldown. So after your like first or second jump, you're not really going to be jumping at all. So then you're actually going to be like moving slower. So typically what I like to do is I'll jump maybe once and then spray and like strafe and then maybe jump again. Just you want to kind of spread out your jumps. But again, this will be elaborated on more in the future. So I'm actually editing right now and I just realized I didn't mention that the stock doesn't help you prone faster. A lot of people think that and it also doesn't help your aim at all. It won't increase or decrease your recoil or anything like that. So really quickly thought I would uh, throw that in. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope it was helpful. Let me know if it was down below. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see in the future because uh, very soon, I will actually be releasing uh, guides on like jumping as well as um, as sliding and drop shotting and just all the aspects of movement. So with all of that being said, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below if you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys later. Peace.